everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nana, and today we're going to be talking about my December wrap up. Let's get going. So, I feel like my December was also a weird one, like, like how my November was also a weird one. I didn't manage to finish two books. One, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it, and the other one, well, it's kind of on. So, let's get going. So, my first one was. Uh, My Country Mary by Cynthia Hunt, Joni Benson, uh, Joni Manos, <laughs> Joni Manos, and Cynthia and Bonnie Ashton. Okay, I'm not talking about the mummy here, but anyways, so I actually really like this. So we are following Mary, who is who has been living most of her life in France, and she is destined to marry Red, to marry Francis. However. There is one secret that Mary is holding. She is an idiot, she, which means that she can shapeshift into a mouse. But now, Frances is telling Mary that her, uh, that her uncles are scheming and against her. This screams for troubles and as Frances is wedding. Troubles after Frances weds her and after the wedding, Mary run, run, runs to Scotland so she can figure out what happened to her mother. Oh. She, he also has a journey with himself with Adi Nostradamus to uncover the plots that is against them all. So, I actually really love this. So, it was a four star for me. I love the relationship between Francis and Mary. I thought it was really cute. So, there were some funny moments in here as well. And I like how the author or the authors were rewriting the history in the best way possible. Um, I, I kind of liked Ami a little bit. Liv was okay, uh, but not so much. I was fully invested in her. I also like how we got to see how everyone can be working when it comes to power. And I, don't, I, just, uh, I just thought everyone's just so working and things can be so horrendous when power gets involved. So I thought they had done that really, really well. And yeah, so honestly, my only complaint was that it's just a bit too long. I still feel like it could have been cut down just a little bit, but otherwise, I actually really, really love it. So I have pre I have ordered the second book, My Imaginary Mary, so I am excited for that book. So my next one was The Sun Battle Trials by Aiden Thomas. I just the Sun Power, we have 10 semi stars who has been entering in the trial. The winner gets to travel to Orlando and the Soul, but the loser gets a sacrifice of, of all, gets the greatest honor of all, and that is to be sacrificed so that the Soul Stone can be replenished so that it won't die out. Seven of the, of the gold, the gold gods, they were trained for their whole life, and not one chain has ever been entered into the trial, and third tier. Theo has been chosen unexpectedly to be in the trial, so now Theo must try his hardest to survive. I wanted to love this one. I thought the premise was great. I actually liked the characters a little bit. I thought it was a bit too much, so it was a little bit slow, and I just characters kind of felt flat for me. Trials went a bit more. That's the part I was really looking towards to, like the trials. But it didn't really give me too much, so I was kind of disappointed on that. But the one good thing is the representation that I had. Oh, that was amazing. So, kudos to Indian for having a lot of good representation in that book. So that was really, really nice. Also, like, these ones will be, I think it was under, like, 13 of age to be compete in the trial. So, it's really messed up to think about it, that if you lose, you and you're the winner, the winner has to sacrifice someone, like actually kill them. Like, imagine 13 year old doing a murder, that would be traumatizing in itself. So, I don't really agree with the age gap. Like, that would be just so, they would be having like, so many trauma later on in life. So, I don't agree with the age. And I also don't see how this is YA. I actually see a more of middle grade in all honesty, so I think that was kind of like categorizing, it was kind of misled. But um yeah, so I don't, so I really did want to love this but it just didn't work out. 
Next one was An in, Bun in a Garden Burning Gold by Rory Power and we are following two twins, Mia and Alexis, who are gifted with power. And, and, and they will use those to help the father rule the country. Uh, I actually DNF that book. Like, I could not get past through it. I think that I left it 164 pages and it never said. I'm like, nope, I'm done. So, I could not get into the book at all. I think, like, I don't know what was wrong with it, maybe I just wasn't right in the mindset, but it didn't work out for me. For one, I think the names were way too confusing for me to even catch up and figure out who was who. I actually had trouble remembering what were the characters because there were some complicated names. I found the names were too complicated to remember and to pronounce. So, I mean, that's on me, of course, but... I just find that complicated. And I didn't really like their father or Baba, as how they said. I find him way too abusive to his kids, so that was also unsettling. But there was also too many info dumps, so that was might be also why I was having trouble because of the info dumps and I really couldn't care what happened to the characters, but I mean I might reread it again, but I don't think so. Maybe not now, but in the future, I'm hoping. So, I was really disappointed with that one. I wanted to read it. My next book was Kingdom of the Fiat by Kay Maniscalco, where we follow Amelia and Rath. While Amelia is doing issues with her parents, also try to solve a murder world. And Amelia and Rath messed up That is war. going between witches. Yes, I actually loved that one. I'm so glad it worked out for me. I thought it was really great, so I'm happy that the reviews didn't get to me. But um, I really loved it. I wish the plot consistency like, was continuing throughout the book, it kind of stopped and then it kind of continued. So there wasn't much of plot-wise happening, but I loved everything else. Uh, about the suit, about, there was this moment that was really, really cute, but I can't say too much. I don't want to spoil. So I thought that was really cute despite everything what happened to a character, so I thought that was cute. You will understand when you read the book. I just don't want to spoil anything. So, yeah, and also I really love that the descriptions of how Kerry, Kerry described everything, like, oh my god, it was beautiful. So I really, really love that. The story itself, like the Lord and everything, like the Star Witches and all of that, it was, it was really, really interesting. I wish we had some more lores about this time. I also think Kerry is planning another book about the prince. I'm not sure who it is because they're aside. Stories is also really interesting, so I do want more of it as well. But um, yeah, so I really do love it. So I'm happy and turn great for me. So yay! It was Power Lady Fortune by Chloe Gong. Rosalind, Celia, and a new side of character. And this what happens two years after the events of the these Violet Delight duology. So again, Rosalind has been my favorite characters. So I really loved her and I'm happy. She's getting a book. She's also coming out with a sequel for this book too, so I'm really excited about that. So I had so this book I might not finish in time. As you can see, I barely started it, but I'm actually sad I'm just gonna include it anyways and I'll and I'll give you guys an update as I edit this. But I'm really hoping I'll finish. I got like four or five days until New Year's, so Merry Christmas, by the way, if you celebrate Christmas. <laughs> but um, I'm really hoping to get this book. I also actually finished the scene. I finished uh, Late Fowl and Fortune by Chloe Wong. I love this. I love... And, uh, the only thing that kind of bothered me was like the relationship between Arneon and Rosalind. It then started out strong, but I felt like it kind of felt flat towards the end. So now it's kind of... Awkward. And I like the plot. I like how she, Chloe described everything. I loved the descriptions. I thought that was really well done. The complaint was that I thought it was sometimes too confusing to follow because of following so many characters all at once. So it's kind of a little bit overwhelming. But yeah, but otherwise, I love the plot. I do want to be the sequel. So I'm happy my December app up was great. I am wearing a different shirt. It's the next day, so hi. But um, yeah, all my wrap up, I did oiling in this yesterday.
technically, so I finished it yesterday, I only had 10 chapters left, um, just counting in as my December. So, um, yeah. And that is everything, so, um, as I said, I'm hoping to get to my Foul Lady Fortune. And also, exciting news, my book came out on Kobo. And on Amazon, it will be coming out on December 30th, so my sequel is called Fire and Burns. If you want to get my first book, which is called Fire Wave, I will also leave the link down below. Awesome, and um, yeah, so let me know what you have read in December, and also how it went for you. And please like, comment, and subscribe so that you will be notified every time I post. And also, if I don't see you until the end of December, Happy New Year, y'all. Let's make 2023 a great year. I have a feeling it's going to be a great year for me. So, Happy New Year. Happy Holidays. I will see you in the next year. Get it? Next year? Okay. Bye, guys.